Qatar prepares to welcome Eid on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Qatari authorities are investigating the disappearance of an Indian merchant Navy officer. Qatar National Library launches a new digital exhibition on the history of the Kaaba. And finally, the Maroons win third place in the Arab Athletics Championships. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar will be celebrating Eid on Wednesday, marking the culmination of the 10 days of the Hijjah. The Eid holiday will last seven days, with the public sector expected to be back in office on Tuesday, 4th of July. Doha Skyline is expected to be decorated with fireworks on Wednesday evening from Lucille Boulevard. Head over to our website on www.dohanews.co for more on what to do during this Eid. Now, Amar Bahadur Verma, a 50-year-old Indian electrotechnical officer, on the MV Asian Bulk has disappeared en route from Oman to Qatar. He was last seen on the ship on 2nd of June. His colleagues noticed his absence and raised an alarm, prompting an immediate investigation on board the vessel. Qatari authorities have also launched an investigation into his disappearance as Verma's family appealed to their national government to assist in finding him. Qatar National Library has launched a new digital exhibition called A Journey of Faith and Devotion, the Holy Kaaba. The virtual gallery enables users to explore the spiritual significance, architecture, and construction of the holy site. QNL launched the digital gallery on its website on Monday, coinciding with the start of this year's Hajj season, the largest pilgrimage in the world. And in sports, Qatar searched to a third place finish in the Arab Athletics Championship, bagging five gold and three silver medals. Held this year in Morocco, the region's prime athletics showdown drew over 350 sports stars representing 16 nations, each determined to leave their mark on the grand stage. The host nation came first, followed by Egypt after an impressive performance. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.